Hello, 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 ladies and gents. Welcome back for even more of the council. Let's get right into it. We can see where we left off. I think I got my arm cut off, guys. And I guess we'll see if I did or not. Oh, okay. All right. Choose my next reading. We can choose three of these. I only have four. So, um, I guess we go with... Mm, maybe questioning, because we might have a lot of that coming up. Uh, psychology. Linguistics. Why not? Let's go with these three and see how that pans out for us. I sense that Mr. Peru is about to surprise us too. I believed in him. I followed him to the best of my ability. I championed his ideas, defended his decisions, and then, without even realizing it, I became lost. Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? No. I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. Someone had the bang coming from the Duchess's room, and she isn't answering. Louis, you really must learn to conceal your weaknesses better. If you don't want your foes to use them against you. Our desire is to steer the destiny of our respective countries for the good of all, and to no longer suffer the random hazards of history. It is the natural order of things, Monsieur de Richet. There have always been men who govern other men. That is simply the way it is. History forgets them with a disconcerting facility. No one speaks about them, and yet they whisper in the ears of kings and presidents. Filthy swine! Okay. I'm going to open this damn door and skin you alive. You're not going to get the better of us. Mother. Louis, you've come around. How do you feel? Oh, man. I, I, it hurts. Mother. I, I, I can't feel my arm. Louis, I had to cauterize it with what I could find. Where's my arm? We'll get through this, Louis. Don't worry. I think I found a solution. You'll see. Uh, we gotta leave. No, no, don't, don't put your arm in there. Louis, we can't leave without it. It's our last chance. I need to see this through to the end. I must do it. We've done oh. it, Oh. She Look, figured it out magically, mule. okay. Come on, up you get. I'll help you. Easy does it. You've lost a lot of blood. Oh, well, that's good. <sighs> and now what? Let's take what we came for. Let's go ahead and remove this negative effect because I don't want this. Okay. I want to know how she managed to open it too. Wait. I've got to know what I did wrong. That is one fearsome mechanism. In fact, if I hadn't watched you beforehand, I would never have found the right combination. Tell me, where did I go wrong? Were the nails at least in the right spot? The three nails? Yes, it, it's true. They let you open the iris. Yes, but you still need to find the right theme, don't you? The fresco was a trap. Apart from the fresco, everything pointed to the crucifixion. Yeah. The things that make it possible to activate the mechanism are associated with the crucifixion. We figured that out. The cross to activate the mechanism and the nails to choose a date. Okay. What did you do once you uncovered the iris? I matched the icon of the crown of thorns with the town of Golgotha oh. where the crucifixion took place. Okay. Well, how did you manage to crack the puzzle? Then I had to link the crown of thorns to the date of the crucifixion, according to the exegesis. But I failed to understand the first time. With that theme in mind, I chose 26M, which represents the okay. 26th of March. To conclude, I had to use the armillary sphere to find the moon corresponding to the day of the crucifixion, which turned out to be in the first quarter. All that was left to do was to link all those elements on the same axis. 
Yeah, easy. I, I don't know how I got that wrong. Holy crap, bro. My brain is too small for this game, I swear. Okay, well, now we figured out our faults. Let's enter this. Wow. But where are we? I don't know, but we better not hang around. Might as well. Be careful, Mother. As if me saying that will make any difference. Knowing Mortimer, I wouldn't be surprised if he rigged his crypt with traps. So you think the door is not enough? Do you want to wager your other hand? <laughs> You've got a point there. We have to find that weapon. What do you know about the Holy Lance, Louis? The what? The Lance of Longinus the Centurion. Oh, yeah, of course. I remember th that. Oh, that? That's what we come to find? The Lance that a Centurion stuck in the side of Christ at his crucifixion? That's it. Seriously? You don't really believe that fable, do you? Every fable is founded on true events. I'm not saying that everything adds up, but imagine if it really did exist. Very well. Now what? Well, now you know what you need to find. Pardon? I have to get to the wharf to prepare our departure. Let's get off this cursed island as quickly as we can. We shall come back when we are ready and armed. But hang on. Louis, let's first get to safety. We shall come back when we have the upper hand. Fear not. You take care of getting the lance. It's imperative. I'll take care of preparing our departure. Hang on. I at least tell me everything you know about this lance. But I have never seen it. There's nothing else I can say, Louis. Well, you can always go snooping around Mortimer's study. I remember seeing paintings of Longinus there. Hmm. Yeah, why'd she shoot Emma? I do want to know this. What's the matter? Why did you shoot Emily's sister? Do you really think now is the right time for this? Yeah. I want to know, Mother. Why did you betray her? Listen, Louis. I don't think you've really understood my interest in the Al-Azif. It's not just simple curiosity about some old relic. You tried to kill her. And I had no choice for crying out loud. It must not fall into the hands of the demons, or we are all doomed, don't you see? Listen, I don't know exactly what it contains, but I prefer to be one step ahead. If they want it, there must be a reason. And even if I don't know what it is, I want to stop them for safety's sake, no matter what. Nothing will stop mm. you if I understand correctly. Not Enough, even Louis. If you could see the extent of their power as I do, then you would understand what I'm saying. All right, we'll do it your way. One more thing. If they find you in possession of the lance, they won't let you get away with it. Choose only one and hide it under your jacket so you don't get caught with it. Then run and meet me on the wharf. And if you know I there's caught, more than they one. They catch you in hmm. possession of the lance. We're all doomed. Do you understand? Perfectly. Good. And go talk to Piaget. He's the one who probably knows the most about this. That's why I don't trust Piaget, man. around first. What is this? Wait, what is this? Salmon. I can see that this lance has a so-called leaf shape. It is made entirely of iron. I can see that the tip is engraved with the symbol of the sun. Okay. I see what... Oh, okay, there's a lot of these. Amber crystals. Nice. That's not going to help me at all. But cool. Um, assuming that's the way out. See, I really want to explore, but he did mention traps, and I'm like, oh man. I must find the Holy Lance. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's not do 
anything stupid. I really want to, but we're not going to this time. Let's just go talk to Biagi. Oh, that was a weird little thing there. All right, cool. The Bible must mean the lance which finally took the life of Christ. Ooh. Remember or find a clue, yes. The Gospel of St. John is the most detailed on the subject of the crucifixion. When they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, they broke not his legs. But one of the soldiers with a shimmering lance pierced his side, and forthwith there came out blood and water. And he that saw it bore witness. And his record is true. And he knoweth that he saith true, that ye might believe. A shimmering lance. What is shimmering this lance. Me? Okay. Ooh. Know who it is. The name of the Roman soldier who killed Christ never appears in the biblical canon. Yet, it is said that he was a centurion and was called Longinus. Mm. Let's go for it. Hermetic traditions evoke the idea of using noble materials for relics, which the monasteries often made themselves in order to attract pilgrims. Of course, they had to inspire greatness. So here we might think of gold, whereas a centurion could not have hoped for anything better than copper at the time. The true lance would not have been a luxurious weapon. Got it. Okay, okay, okay. So, something copper. Ooh. Don't know what that was, but I picked it up. Collector's coin. More collector's coins. Another collector's coin? Okay. Searching as much as I can here. Okay. Let's take a quick pause. I gotta check something really quick. Oh, it's also Christmas Day, guys. I, don't, I didn't think I told you guys that yet, but uh, Christmas Day here. Uh, Merry Christmas to anyone who's watching. Happy holidays. Um, I'm gonna play a different game as well today, which I'll probably do a better uh, a better intro on that game. This game I'm kind of focused right now because I really want to finish it. I'm, I'm I'm nearing the end, so um, I have my hyper focus mode on right now, guys. But I'm going to take a quick break in just a second so I can do something. Um, Golden elixir. Yeah. I'll keep it for later. Just trying to fill up on whatever I can while I'm out here. Piaggi is our man that we have to find. List of names. I'm still curious what was inside that note. I'm searching around right now. I'm not going to do it too much because I don't want this episode again to be like longer than an hour but it might be this game just for some reason has been long it's been a very long winded game I'm trying to think of the best way of entering back into the um the house here whoa that statue creeped me out for a second I'm not gonna lie I thought that was a person uh, I don't think there's anything back here uh, it does not appear to be okay. Just a little searching. I think I'm just gonna have to go in through here. All right, sorry guys, we're back. Let's do a little Christ around. crucified by Velasquez. Look, someone's left a note there. Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. Huh. Duke of Aquidia. That wasn't there, I don't think, before. Unless I just ignored it this entire time. I 
Okay, let's go this way. Alright, this is the way to the library. Which there's nothing here. I should go the other way. I'm trying to get up to Piaggi's room. I know there's gonna be people I'm gonna pass along the way. I know it's just bound to happen. Um I think I'm good in this room. Man, I can't believe I got my arm cut off last episode. That's crazy. Like, how am I going to hide this from anyone? You know what I mean? Like, there's no way. There's no way I'm going to be able to hide this from literally anyone. Could unlock this, though. Oh, man. Do I want to waste the points there? See, it could be full of honey. It could be worth it. Let's, let's unlock fragment it. fragment of amber. Oh, jeez. It wasn't worth it. That was definitely not worth it in my in my personal opinion there. Do I want to continue? As, do I want to... Uh, let's just go up. And there's other things I could possibly do here, but... It depends on how much time I really want to spend doing them. One of the servants is there, sweeping. Interesting. Whose room is this? I forget whose room this is. Oh, Emily's room. I mean, Elizabeth's room. Okay. So it allows me to come back in here. I'm curious why. Okay. I thought this game would have been so much easier if I actually read the notes that were like present like I, i'm pretty sure it probably gave me a lot of information but i'll be honest with you guys i kind of want to finish the game i wasn't expecting the game to be a lot of reading um so therefore i didn't I did not read president george washington can't go in his room okay i do not like this mansion at night i will tell you that right now it's not a very comforting place right now. Alright, we can finally go into Piaggi's room. The Cardinal's not in his room. I bet he went back to stuffing himself. If he's not in here, then I'm about to do some snooping. It is time to snoop. His Holiness Pope Pius VI by Pompeo Petoni. This should help Piaggi feel at home. Honey. Honey, the nice. remedy of the gods. My dear Giuseppe, poor health forbids me from joining you. Please thank Sir Gregory for his invitation to Lord Mortimer's. I'm convinced you'll be able to strengthen our agreements. Please tell Sir Gregory that his enterprise concerning our friend Cardinal Bishop Chiaramonti is following its course. I place my trust in you. May God bless you and give you protection. S.S. Giovanni Angelico Braschi. Okay. Satan summoning his legions. Why is, is that rather here? surprising for the decoration of a cardinal's room? Yeah, why is that here? I'm telling you, Piaggi is a shady fellow, man. Look, Amada. Quite the contrast. Wow, the fanatical priest who created the Inquisition sends shivers down the spine. A Chinese coin. I said I didn't trust Piaggi from the beginning of this game. John the Baptist, youth with a ram, a Caravaggio. A very sensual vision and very far from the usual representations of St. John. Venus and Cupid with a satyr, a Correggio. Innocence, indiscretion, and lechery. Giuseppe must love that. Try to check all the corners if I can. Love triumphant, a Caravaggio. Now there's someone for letter whom up the there. sex of angels is no mystery. Henry 
notes by Lord Mortimer. Cool. Search cost and me nothing. Crystals. Beautiful. The Rape of the Daughters of Lucifer by Rubens. Surprising choice for his eminence Piaggi. It's it's very the interesting. Line girl by Boucher. Here's a painting of mischievous eroticism. I wonder what Piaggi must think of this. Piaggi's a shady dude, man. There's something I'm telling you guys. There's something up with Piaggi. I'm trying to make sure there's nothing else in this room that I haven't necessarily inspected yet. Like, all of his paintings are kind of like sin. You know what I mean? Like, a bunch of naked people doing naked people stuff. Um, let's step out on the ledge. See what we can find out here. Great, honey. More honey. Let's have a look at his personal papers. Of course, it's in Latin, the language of the church. Ooh, please tell me I know this. I should be able to translate this, right? All those hours of learning Latin declensions are going to pay off in the end. Mother will be proud. Now this could be interesting. Let's say a sancte, various representation criteria of which are shown the most common throughout the centuries and in different forms. Mm -hmm. Piaggi's notes are anything to go by. The weapon I'm looking for is shaped like a tapered spear. And that should help me identify it. Tapered spear. That is copper. Copper spear. There's nothing over here, really? Okay. Can I interact with the telescope at all? I was hoping I could. But it appears I cannot. Okay, well. Wait a second. Or was that the door? I think that might have been the door, okay. Uh, he doesn't have much here. Honestly. Cardinal's not in his room. I bet he went back to stuffing himself. Yeah, there's not much in his room. I'm, I'm kind of kind of surprised by this. Destruction of the Temple of Jerusalem by Francesco Hayes. The Roman destruction by Titus and his army. What violence. That's what I'm saying. Like, why does he have this stuff in his room to be a to be a priest, you know what I mean? Like, why do you have this stuff in your room? I don't understand. His Holiness Pope Pius VI by Pompeo Petoni. I this should help Piaggio feel at home. Oh, wait, something's up here. I think I can reach this, right? Like water will give me a little reprieve. Nice. That's it, as far as this goes. I do believe. Okay, so I went to Piaggi's room. There was some stuff in there. Ooh, my own room. Wait, is this my room? This is this is my room, right? Okay. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a Saint Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. There's a lot of references to Dante in this. Giving to his guests. Very jolly. Lots of references to um, Dante's Inferno. Like this, this area must be in reference to Purgatory. See, I don't know what these are here for. I don't know what these are here for. I always thought they had to be here for some reason, but I. I I've gotten nothing so far from from actually interacting with them, so I don't think they are here for anything. Um, so this is my room. Honey, the remedy nice. of the gods. The I'm glad I came back to Ixion, check that. Condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. Do I have anything else in this the room? The incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on, but doesn't touch. Dear Monsieur de Richet, please excuse me. 
the inspiration of St. Matthew, or Matthew writing his gospel, dictated go to his by voices. Box here. Ooh. This could be good, could Golden be bad. Elixir. I'm already full on that, but at least it's unlocked now. I'm unlocking these boxes because, I mean, there's always a chance it'll have honey in it. You know what I mean? Dante. And if it has honey in it, costs one point, I can get, you know, an extra point from Lovely using it. Might as well. Giving you his guests. Very jolly. Okay, so I checked my own room as well. Nothing there. Shaped like a spear. Okay. Go into there. This is Emma's room here. King George the Third in coronation robes. Nice touch for the room of an English duchess. Dear E, I received your last letter. Unfortunately, the Crown informed the Golden Order that our mission should under no circumstances. Okay. The Lady's Waldegrave by Reynolds, painted upon the request of the Waldegrave family in an effort to find them a husband. Displayed like meat. It's disgusting. So it allows me back into Emily or Emma's room now at this point, because I don't even know. I don't know which room this I don't know I don't know who I killed. Honestly. This letter dates from fifteen years ago now. So Alright. We've already read that letter before, which is why I exited out of it. Um I just want to check and see if anything new was in there. It does not appear to be anything new in there. So we're gonna keep it moving here. What I should pick up? Cold elixir, nothing. Okay, nothing there. I don't know how long that golden elixir's been sitting there. I swear I've run through this section so many different times. I wonder, cannot let me in there. Is that honey? Nice. So it does, ooh, let's check on Peru real quick. Is he not in here? Dear Monsieur, all oh, right. I've retrieved everything. Okay, so I have everything out of that box. Um, another painting on the massacre of the innocents. Yeah, interesting. Okay. So Mr. Peru is not here. Where is he? I'm looking around, just making sure I didn't miss anything. Like, dear friend, super duper important. Oh, there's something back here. Golden elixir, I'm already full on golden elixir. Okay. Ah, oh, it doesn't appear I'm missing anything here. Can't exit out of this way. Oh, I think he's stuck. Okay, there we go. We're good. Sorry. That was probably a little shaky for you guys. Hmm. Bah humbug. I'm trying to see if there's any other way to get into any of these other rooms. Okay, does not appear so. And I don't think there's anything out here, per se, that I can pick up. So, let us. So I'm going to continue. I really want to check um, George Washington's room, honestly. But I do not believe it's going to allow me to do that. He's still just sweeping. Maybe if I don't talk to him, he won't acknowledge me. But I feel like he's going to say something, right? Let's just keep going. Let's check up here again, actually. Because I want to see if George did anything. 
while he was up here. Again, lots of references to Dante's Inferno. This is open. I did snag the book before George could get to it. Doesn't mean that he necessarily like didn't see it beforehand or anything. I did also didn't like how they clouded his face like that, made him look all sinister and stuff for that one moment. Which I'm not sure if that's just good game design or if um they did it, you know they did it on purpose, you know what I mean? So he's definitely He'll see me go up there if I don't talk to him, I think. I think that's gonna be a catch here. So let's just talk to him. Pardon me, monsieur, but I have work to do. Oh, he is not letting me talk to him. So, we'll just have to try to risk it. We'll just have to risk it and go up here then. Yeah. Piaggi's probably downstairs in one of the study rooms or something. It's probably better I talk to him last, if anything. Um, I still want to figure out what that secret code is for that thing as well. So, hopefully it doesn't make me like go through and put these numbers and stuff in here again, because I've already done that. It does let me look at something. Oh, just these again. Let's go ahead and uh, hit the little foot pedestal thing if it allows me to. Oh, it does not allow me to. Oh, it doesn't let me hit the little foot pedestal now. So am I up here for no reason? Interesting, okay. So why would it... Why would you tell me to check up here if it doesn't allow me to check up here? Interesting. So, well, that kind of throws me for a loop there for a little bit, honestly. Um... I just want to see if there's any other rooms I can go into. Yeah. Wolner, we can go into his room. It seems like he isn't here. This is just my last ditch effort to kind of find any information that I don't already have. Whoa, there's a letter on the floor. Look, a, a blotter. And apparently it's been used recently. I wonder what Volner was going to write. It's smudged. It's not all legible. I can make out the signature though and leave as Azif planned le Oh man, you know what though? You know what though? I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it. I'm so sorry. Landing stage. Landing stage. So Voner is going to leave Al Azif at the landing stage, isn't he? message revealed. I had to. What a mess. Looks like Volner was interrupted. Sam thinks on this desk. A lot like straw. And he's drawn something in a hurry on this sheet. Straw closely. on his desk. As if to as if to protect something fragile. Yes. Someone must have packed something away here. I get the feeling that I've seen that somewhere before. Um. Ooh. Ooh, I don't remember, honestly. Um. Yes, it's definitely a drawing of the lock of Alazif. Volner must have kept a copy. The lock of Alazif. So I'm glad I came in here. What is this? A chemistry set. That's not surprising coming from Von Wolner. Okay. So I'm actually glad that I came in here. This is... So, let's see what Volner has in his bookcase. Understand the titles. <laughs> not surprising. Most of these works are in German and one in Latin. Longini Militis Fabulum. Ah, what have we here? It looks like a kind of biography on Longinus the Centurion. Truly, 
Volnar has done everything he can to get information about that lance. Interesting. I'd better keep this one, though. Dirty shay. Damn, that's all I need. Maybe he knows something about the lance. What happened? You, you've lost. Oh, I oh, forgot oh, about the whole oh, arm oh, thing. Oh head. man. I, it's an accident. To tell you the truth, an I. Accident? Are you joking? You have lost your hand, Louis. We've got to do something. It's been done. I've been given treatment. Rest assured. I admit that I didn't truly realize the consequences of my recklessness. So just stay calm. Yes, yes, of course. But Louis, it's your hand. He's I know. freaking out. Please, look, there's nothing I can do about it. I know I made a mistake, but it's too late now. It was an accident. I only wanted to inspect the place to find my mother, and well, I fell into a trap. The result is appalling. I I grant you that, but at least I can guarantee that we're all perfectly safe here on this island. And. You joke about it? Am I dreaming? No, sir, but let's be realistic. So many world leaders brought together in one place, and there are no safeguards? The error indeed stems from my recklessness. I went He's covering here up for and this there really and good. my mother, and I had an accident. It's my own fault. Fine. We will drop this uh, incident. <laughs> Why are you here? What are you doing in my room? Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Ah, uh, do I want to... Questioning. Well, sir, I see you have some captivating books, and you seem I'm gonna be, be honest rather with them. interested in the famous Longinus. No, I... It's... Uh, what's it to do with you? I overheard you speaking with Piaggi. What are you two up to, exactly? No, I... He was speaking with Piaggi. Oh, fine. Yes. We are looking for the Holy Lots. That imbecile has given Mortimer all the ones kept in the private collection of the Holy See. But it, it's not oh. what you think. I... Hang on a minute. You're the one looking for the lance. No, Don't I... take me for a fool. You are looking for the Holy Lances. I, I feel like... Oh man, I feel like I don't want to lie to him, honestly. Hmm. Let me see what his uh what his weaknesses were. I actually forget with his character. Um. Oh crap. Okay. To be discovered. Interesting. What do you mean to be discovered? I swear I've already figured this guy out. I, I want to be honest with him. Only looking for the right one. I'm not looking for the lances of Longinus von Volner. I'm looking for the lance of Longinus. The one that pierced Christ's side. You are playing with fire. Don't take it the wrong way. I'll leave you all the copies. Don't worry about that. Good answer. What are you okay. playing at, Richet? Mortimer's the one who has that cursed lance. How long have you been looking for it? Ah, I see. You want it? And so you plan to steal it from Mortimer. For a long time. Isn't that right? Why, you little swine! You're planning to give it to Sir Gregory. You're looking to double-cross me and Piaggi too. What on earth is he talking about? Hmm. I gotta use a honey and figure out... I think he likes etiquette, right? Mr. Von Volner, would you be so kind as to calm yourself down, please? All I'm trying to do is make amends for his eminence's errors. Sir Gregory should surround himself with better people, if you want my opinion, but Piaggi is a friend of my mother's. What? I, you want to help Piaggi? I just told you, that's what my mother would do if she was here. I heard you in the corridor and... He seemed to be in serious trouble because of the lances. I'm only trying to help him. Ah, there we go. All right, Louis. I thought you were trying to manipulate me, but please. Manipulation wouldn't have worked on him. Excuse I was like, me. I think he I got was etiquette from correct. Carried away. But you can't get ahead by staying in the shadows on a case like this. 
There are already several of us searching for the Lance of Longinus. And it would be smarter to pool our information. Okay. Unfortunately, I've barely made any progress. I'm still trying to find out what the original Lance really looked like. Ah, let me reassure you, we've all been there, given the number of copies there are in existence. It also took us quite some time to discover its true shape. Many believe the central part of the head of the Lance to be covered in gold. Oh. Whereas, in truth, its center is made of an alloy of copper and iron. He's that not lying. That does make sense. In those times, a centurion wouldn't have any chance of possessing a lance made of gold. Ah, that is the perversion of Christian idolatry. A copper lance could not have been noble enough to pierce the side of Christ. Anyway, thank you, sir. You're welcome, Louis. But keep me posted as to your research. We're bound to end up recovering it. I'm counting on it. See you later. He's not lying to me. I, I kind of like this guy. I managed to get the biography of Longinus the Centurion. Let's see what it can teach me. Hmm. An interesting passage here tells me that the lance is engraved with the symbol of the first Christians. The fish. The fish. So it's engraved with the fish. On the tip. Copper rimmed. Interesting. Okay. Well, we learned a lot just doing that. I'm glad that we went in there. It was the last room that I checked, as always. It's always the last room that I check for some reason that ends up having the most information. I've got to, like, get better at that. I'm so sorry, guys. But we learned a lot doing that. Um, I wish that the servant guys could get me some honey, honestly, because I, I really need it. Oh, wait. I think he gave me the last thing, though. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day, day and, and night, night, sir. I was hoping you could help me out. As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? Oh, man. Oh, I forget what the fourth thing is called. Is it the Carmelite water? A little Carmelite water would do me a lot of good. Could you find me some, please? Oh, the tonics are under lock and key, sir. Lord Mortimer only allows access to them in cases of emergency. Ah, oh, jeez. Listen, I suffer from terrible migraines, and the voyage by boat is brought on my room. There we go. So, unless you have anything else to alleviate the pain, please give me some quickly. Thank you. Oh, and, and the one from Bordeaux, right? I prefer it to the one from Paris. Immediately, sir. Here. I hope, sir, we'll get well again quickly. Anything else, sir? Can I get another one out of him? Ah, oh, only one. Uh, do you want to try to get an amber out of this guy? My good fellow, would you have any amber available? I would, but unfortunately, I don't think I am authorized to give it out, sir. I believe it is a precious stone. Ah, uh, I'm not going to risk it for that. Okay. Take my leave on that note. We got some Carmelite water though, which is good. So makes one of our next actions free to use. Mysterious notes. Notes by Derriche. Notes by my mom, interesting. What is he just standing by the fire for? Do I wanna talk to George Washington? Oh man, I feel like George Washington's out to kill me, honestly. And I feel like if he sees the arm cut off thing, he's gonna know that I tried the lock. Ah, uh, I wanna talk to Piaggi first. Let's go find Piaggi first. Ooh, that was a good find. So they did restock some stuff here. There's, what is pink? Fall oh. of the Damned by Rubens. The man who cannot achieve the salvation of God the Father is offered to fall into the depths of the abyss. So Piaggi's probably here. Piaggi's always eating. Yes. Another honey. The conversion of Ulysses by Gours. Circe changing Ulysses' companions into swines. I'm glad they restocked some of the items and things here. Because, oh man, I needed the honey so bad. For better. Yeah, I really need the honey. I'm looking around to make sure I'm not missing any other things while I'm picking up all this honey right now. 
Okay, Piaggi's out there. He's looking out. Golden Elixir. I can't use that necessarily right now. You know what? I'll use one before I talk to Piaggi. And uh, that way I'll get all of those things correct. I'm just making sure that I haven't overlooked any honey. Okay. So, let's let's use one of those when I talk to Piaggi. Your Eminence, would you have a moment to spare? Not now, Louis. Please, leave me alone. I beg your pardon? I Wait want to second. be alone. Very well. I, I'm only searching for information about the Lance of Longinus, the soldier. Uh -oh. If you could... You are not listening to me. You are playing with fire. Hmm. I see what you mean. Louis, don't push it. Leave while you still can. Your Eminence, oh, are God. you all right? Your Eminence, are you with me? Can you turn around, please? What do you want to know about the Holy Land? Yo, I told Your Eminence, you. turn around. This is the weapon used by a Roman centurion on the very day Christ was nailed to the cross. Look at me. Longinus thrust his lance in the right side of Jesus. Please. As you wish. Told you, man. Something's up with him. His nose is bleeding. So you are looking for the Holy Lance of Longinus, are you? No, no, I, I was wondering about it myself. Oh, Louis, it's even worse than I thought. I believe you when you say you only come to find out more. But in that case, it means that Sarah didn't even tell you the point of it all. Because, believe me, you are looking for it. You are looking for the lands. You should know, you are not the only one. I, I have to use more stuff here. Has spent a good part of his life and his fortune trying to find it. Never will he let you have it. But tell me, before going any further, have you spoken to anyone else about this? He's immune to that. Yes. Volner. Well, I spoke to Mr. Von Volner about it. Why? Because you are endangering all those who know anything about this lance, Louis. Anyone else? That's all. No one else. What are you going to use the lance for, exactly? He doesn't know I found my mom. I thought I had my vulnerability thing up. Let's be honest. If I told you why I needed this lance, you would never believe it. Trust me. You can tell me anything. It's oh, our only man. chance to vanquish the demons. <gasps> oh, my dear God, Louis. You sound just like Sarah. Do you realize you are following the same path step by step? Sarah also started by imagining things. Oh my gosh. She too spoke of demons, I am told. She could no longer speak to anyone and saw a hidden monster in every guest, lurking in the shadows, ready to devour her. You must let us help you. Us? Louis, I thank you for your sincerity. I shall answer you about Longinus. You deserve to be told. His spear-headed lance did indeed pierce the side of the Messiah. His blood gushed out, covering the head of the lance. It was covered in the blood of Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Your Eminence. You are welcome. Be careful, Louis. You are on a perilous path. Don't follow Sarah's demons, my boy. Don't delve too deeply into her delusions. Or you won't be able to come back. The demons that she is frantically trying to drive away are in her own mind. Interesting. Take good care of yourself. God keep you. I kind of want to look out and see what he's looking at, maybe. I'm 
just looking. Okay, I think we can move away now. Okay, so, um... Search for more clues? Sacred text, oh man, where do I, where do I even find this stuff? Artistic de depictions, oh, oh! Seriously. Some of this stuff was in Piaggi's room. Dining on ham. Well, that's very appetizing. I want to go through this door, actually. Guys, I'm so sorry. I know I told you guys uh, that I was going to finish this on out. But I need to take a break. Uh, again, it's Christmas time, guys. So I need to, um, I need to go eat. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm a little hungry. So I'm not going to end the part necessarily here. But I will take a little break. Um, I might make it back to Piaggi's room before I do that. But I'm just giving you guys fair warning, you know, just in advance. Allegory regarding the decoration of the rights of men. So I gotta find... That's the least you could say. Liberty or Death by Regnault. Ah, a painting by Anger. Molière, dining with Louis XIV. The so this is... posture is surprising. This is what it's we need here. Christ crucified by Velasquez. I, I did it in the wrong order. Look, yeah. Someone's left a note there. Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. Is this not artistic depictions? I assumed that would be it, but I guess not. Okay, well, I'm glad I was able to pick that up at least now. Um... I want to make my way back to Piaggi's room. I really do. So I'm going to do that. This is Von Wilder's room. I can't go in there anymore. Okay. So I'm going to run past this guard and make my way over to Piaggi's room. Because I want to see if he has any artistic depictions in his own room sacred text I did find some text but I'm not sure if they were like sacred text or what but I guess I can look around for more clues here okay that's Godoy's room this is my room The specialist in esotericism, I feel like it's going to be George Washington. Oh, jeez. I can unlock this. Golden elixir. Nice. St. Francis of Assisi in ecstasy. Before superior voice, Judith beheading Holofernes. Ironic in a way. I'm just checking my room. The artist represented herself. We're gonna go to Piaggi's in, in just a second. Who raped her. The incredulity of Saint Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing Saint Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on but doesn't touch. Inspiration of Saint Matthew, or Matthew writing his gospel, dictated to him by voices. Sacred text. I've got to go to Piaggi's room. I know that's what I have to do. So let's just do it. Let's go in here. The Cardinal's not in his room. I bet he went back to stuffing himself. Okay. So we're looking for a painting here. It's got to be this, right? This is weird. Satan summoning his legions. This is rather surprising for the decoration of the Cardinal's room. My dear Giuseppe. Sacred text. Sacred text. Where would I find a sacred text? 
if I don't already have them. If that makes any sense, you know, I, I, I picked up some stuff. Love Triumphant by Caravaggio. Now there's someone for whom the sex of angels is no mystery. Let's step back out here really quick. See, I picked up this stuff. Let's have a look at his personal papers. Earlier. Of course. It's in Latin, the language of the church. All those hours of learning Latin declensions are going to pay off. I'm going to see if end. this checks off anything. Mother will be proud. Now, this could be interesting. Let's say a sancte, various representation criteria, of which are shown the most common throughout the centuries, and in different forms. If Piaggi's notes are anything to go by, the weapon I'm looking for is shaped like a tapered spear. Well, that should help me identify it. Okay, I think I see what's happening here. It just wants me to get the information. But I believe I already have all of the information that I need. I've already talked with um, the Volner, or whatever his name is, and I've already gathered the, the, the sacred text. Yeah, I, bet he went back to stuffing I think I've already seen the picture as well. So I think I have all the information that I'm that I'm looking for. Um, so I think we can go find the spear now, honestly. So let's make our way back out to the garden. Um, Whichever way may be the easiest way to do that. I think I have to go this way for that. Uh, and then I'm going to take a quick break. We'll make our way back to the crypt, actually. We'll do that. Can I go into George Washington's room? I can't go into George Washington's room now. And I didn't talk to Mr. Washington about it because, again, when I saw him up in the tower, dude was mad creepy. Dude was super, super creepy. That's Emily's room. Um, and I don't trust him. I don't trust him anymore. Piaggi just may be a crazy old cynical Christian man or whatever, but I think he earned some trust with me a little bit, honestly. Um, same thing with Von Volner. Like, they were very, very open, very honest about what they were doing. Um, I didn't even have to manipulate them. I knew, manipula I knew manipulation wouldn't work on, on Von Volner. I feel like he's probably been manipulated a lot in his life and, you know, trying to figure out who to trust himself. So... I'm glad I didn't go with that route, and I just kind of told him exactly what was going on. Same thing with Piaggi. But I knew mentioning the demons would be a good thing. With him being a Christian man, mentioning any kind of demons, he's like, oh, my boy, let me help you. Oh, jeez. So I knew that was going to be a good uh, lead in there. So let's find our way back into the crypt. And hopefully avoid some traps. It mentioned traps, which had me nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I really gotta find some more supplies here at some point. Is this the way I go? I think this is the way I go. I go this way, right? I go this way. No, that's wrong. Oh, man. Maybe I don't remember this as well as I thought I did. There we go. I'm back here now. Okay. Um, the only thing that bothers me is I couldn't get up to... I couldn't get up to Volvolner's study anymore. Like his secret room. Do I want to go try that again? Ah! Jeez, man. Um... Ah, I want to try it again. I'm so sorry, guys. I want to try to get up to his secret room one more time. Now that I'm talking with Piaggi, I want to see if there's a way that I can get up there. Uh, maybe I should just go to the crypt. It'll tell me if I missed it. You know what? If I miss it, I miss it. Let's just go to the crypt. I don't want to make this episode any longer than it has to be, and it's already going to be kind of long anyway. I think I'm already sitting at like 40-ish minutes probably of recording at this moment, if not 45. So let's just go down. Let's just go down. Make our way. Make our way. I think we have enough information to not make a mistake, hopefully.
So I'm looking for a copper spearhead with a fish on the tip. Examine I can it. see that this lance has the characteristic shape of a spear. It is made of iron, and its tip is engraved with a cross. That's not it. Where's the other one that I saw before? This one. Examine this one next. I can see that this lance has a so-called leaf shape. It's not a spear. It is made entirely of iron. I can see that the tip is engraved with the symbol of the sun. Shape of a boar spear. Okay. Engraved with the tip. Okay, that's not it either. So neither one of those are correct. This is probably going to be a trap right here, right? This sarcophagus is engraved with the name of Clemens III. Good God! The one whose cross allowed me to enter. Can I do all of this? This sarcophagus I... is engraved with the name of Clemens III. Good God! The one whose cross allowed me to enter. I'm sorry about that, guys. I like, uh, Clemens I guess I ran out of memory on my computer. Clemens so, Juan, picking up where I left off. How come his tomb ended up here and not in the Vatican? Interesting. That was the Pope from the Middle Ages who inspired the Third Crusade. He gave the Roman people the power to elect their magistrates. Wait a second. He was basically an anti-Pope. His path to the throne was pretty turbulent, and he had to be enthroned several times. The result of a long conflict between the papacy and the Holy Empire. Is this the Pope that was in uh, uh, Piaget's room? This sarcophagus is beautifully made, but ancient. Stone is marked by the passage of time, but it's really well preserved. Huh. Interesting. Now I'm curious if there's something that I'm missing here. Oh, am I stuck? I somehow got stuck. Okay, so this is a glitch. We're not supposed to be able to do that. All right. Um, there's got to be a trap somewhere around here. I know there's going to be one. I feel as if I don't think I should go that way yet. But I'm going I'm to do it anyway. Let's go this way. Might be a dead end. Why is this all the way out here? I can see that this spear has a, a so-called leaf shape. It is copper rimmed. I can see the tip is engraved with the symbol of the eye of Ra. That's not the right one. Okay, I can't go any further than this. I think I know what's going on here. If this coffin is what I think it is. This one has no name. I wonder who it was for. No name. Interesting. Looking around. Trying to see if I find anything here. Okay. I think this side is pretty clear now. Let us continue. We're going to go this way now. See if we find anything over here. What's going on here? Well, that's nice. See, I don't know if there's a way that I can actually die in this game or not. And I'm pretty sure there probably is, you know? Alright, what is this? This is the only one so far that's been, like, on the ground. Here we can see this lance has a leaf shape, is gold-rimmed, and a fish is engraved on the tip. 
This is not the one. Yeah, this is not the one. It wouldn't be gold. We've already been through that. Flavius Aetius. I remember. He was the Roman general who defeated Attila and his hordes in the terrible battle of the Catalonian Plains. Okay. Flavius Aetius, the one they call the last of the Romans. He was assassinated by his own emperor, who was jealous of all his victories. But how did he end up here? Can't do anything else here? Flavius Aetius. Hmm. It was cut a long time ago. You could tell by the rough hacks of the tool and the patina of the stone. This sarcophagus is very ancient. I'd say it's several centuries old. Hmm. Flavius Aetius, the one they call the last of the I think Romans. I wasted a point he on that. He was assassinated by his own emperor, who was jealous of all his victories. But how did he end up here? Okay, so I got basically the same information out of that. Um, seen that one. Anything over here to look at? I guess not. Anything back here? There's one here. I'm trying to check and make sure there's nothing else that I'm missing here. Is this the boar head one? This lance has got a blade in the shape of a spear. Its blade is in iron or steel, I think. This I can the right make out one. a rising sun engraved on the tip. This is not the right one. Okay. I feel as if I should go... I should go this way first. This game has been very interesting so far. Ooh, I can go back here. There's nothing back here, though, but I can go back here. This is definitely not the right one. I can tell this gold already, right? We can see that this lance has a leaf shape and... Well, it's in gold. Yeah, so it's not the right one. I can see that crucifix is engraved on the tip, just barely visible. This is not the right one. Another coffin here that I can't examine. Okay. Oh, this was like a cutscene for this one. This might be the one. Let's take a look at this lance here. It has a very special leaf shape. It is copper rimmed and oh. I can see a fish symbol engraved on the tip. This might be the one. I'm gonna leave it for now because I wanna check the others, but that might be the one. Got a little cutscene for this one too though. Examine I can it. see that this lance has the shape of a boar spear. Boar the blade spear. is partially coated in copper. And oh. I can just make out the symbol of the eye okay. of Ra. The one we're looking on for is a boar spear. So this isn't it, it, it. Okay, and the other one was not it either. Okay. It won't be the. It won't be this one, right? I can see this lance has a spear shape. It is copper rimmed. And it has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip. Hmm. This one could be it. But we're looking for a boar head spear. This lance has. A this isn't it. This isn't it. It is copper rimmed. The symbol of the Christian fish is engraved on the tip. We're looking for one that's specifically boar headed. Boar head spear. That's what they said. I don't think that's it. I do want to pick up this honey, right? Yeah. Making sure I'm not missing anything before I go in here. The sarcophagus of Lord Mortimer. Interesting. It's the only sarcophagus in this crypt which appears to bear the Mortimer family name. What ancestor can it be? There's no inscription. Let's see what we can find here. Hmm. Hmm. I don't have enough agility for this. I could use a honey. <sighs> that will cause. Oh, that would. 
Can I try first? Uh, oh, it's far too heavy. I'm not going to be able to do it on my own. Okay, I saw something back here, though. One second. I'm glad I saw that in the cutscene. What about this lance? It's got a spear shape. And the blade is partly made of copper. A barely visible crucifix is engraved on the blade. That's not it. But I'm glad that I did see that, though. I'm going to come back to flip that sarcophagus over after I look at the rest of these things. I don't know exactly what's going to happen there. I feel like I'm going to open the coffin and it's it's going to be empty, is what I'm going to think. That's what I'm thinking right now. So the one that we think that it might be is this one so far. But I'll look at the rest of these and see what else we can find out. Let's see. Gonna go this way. Ooh, wait, I forget which way. Oh, I gotta keep going a little further. Now we'll take the middle path here. This one. See what we can find this way. Anything over here? Wait a second. Why why does it allow me to walk in these directions? I don't I don't get it. There's nothing there. But it still allows me to go there anyway. Make sure there's nothing in these corners. The sarcophagus has been ravaged by time. It's sort of ageless, I guess. It's entirely sculpted. Oof. Let's go with this symbols. One. These grooves. Cuneiform script. This is humanity's oldest alphabet, the language of Babel. Sadly, no one today even knows how to decipher it. There's also some text engraved beneath in ancient Greek, Sargon. Um, I don't think it's going to be worth me even trying until I get, if I can get a, uh, ooh, is that another honey? What is this? Okay, this one has a fish on it too. Well, we can see that this lance has a particular spear shape. It is coated in gold. It's not it. To distinguish the symbol of the fish engraved on the tip, barely noticeable. Is that it? Is that also all that's here? Okay, well, I think we just did everything then. So I guess the only thing for me to do here, how much honey do I have? I have three honeys, okay. That might be enough for what I'm gonna do. Four spear. Copper rimmed, yeah. Is it this one? I can see this lance has a spear shape. It is copper rimmed, and it has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip. I think this might be the one. I must be sure of my choice. I cannot get it wrong. Am I absolutely sure this is the one to take? I think this is the one that I take. I really do. The rest of them are theirs. I told them I would leave them the rest. I think this is the one. Before I join Mother, I've got to go back here and I've got to flip this thing open. Wait a second. Why is it open? The sarcophagus of Lord Mortimer. It's the only sarcophagus in this crypt which appears to bear the. It was already open name. just a minute. Just what a minute ago. What ancestor can it be? There's no inscription. Let's see what we can find here. Am I am I tripping? Ha! Huh. Great. Now let's see what's inside. Wait a second. The sarcophagus of Lord Mortimer. 
let's see what we can find here. Is it gonna make me do that again? Cost zero. I should make sure I get all the stuff out of there. Ha, great. Now let's see what's inside. Because I'm not sure if I collected everything. Okay. So we did that. Maybe that was a bad thing for me to do. Let's go meet up with Mother. I think we have the right lance. I hope we have the right lance. We'll see. So I'm assuming there was nothing inside of the chest itself, but just some supplies? Or inside the sarcophagus, whatever it's called? That's kind of weird, but okay. Let's find our way out of here, if I remember exactly how to get out of here. I think I go this way, yeah. I cannot get caught with this. I remember her saying that. So I have to find a way of getting out where no one can cross my path. That's going to be a difficult part. Kind of look around again because sometimes these things reset. There might be some, you know, honey or jelly or something, you know, just laying around. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't have opened that coffin actually. But I was curious to see if there's a dead body in there, because if he really is a demon and like there's there's resurrection or whatever going on here, then there wouldn't be a body in there. You know what I mean? But I feel like this is a trap. Like someone's gonna be waiting for me. I know the game's not over just like that. Oh man. Maybe I shouldn't have went back. I should have gone tried to get back into Mortimer's place then. Well then. <laughs>